good evening, it's Zimbabwe. This is Studio 7 Live Talk coming to you live from the Voice of America in Washington. This Thursday, August the 13th, 2015. Welcome to the Live Talk, the Women's Rounds Table, where we speak about issues affecting women. I'm Marvelous Mhlanga Nyahuye. And I'm Sitande Gile Mhlanga. And today on the Women's Round Table, we are looking at the continued job losses in the country and their impact on families and women. What are your views on the issue? To join our discussion, phone us directly at 001-202-619-2077 and we'll call you back. And Live Talk goes out to Zimbabwe on the 909 medium wave frequency and on the 4930-5940 and 154455 kilohertz shortwave Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. But for you, the ladies out there, Thursday is your day. Don't forget to join us. On the internet, you can find us at www.voazimbabwe.com or www.voashona.com and www.voandebele.com. My name is Jesse Majome. I'm the member of parliament for Harare West constituency in the National Assembly and I'm also a lawyer and I'm greatly concerned by this, by this crisis of job losses and mayhem in the labor law and uh, the absolute end of job security in Zimbabwe caused by the recent judgment of of the uh, Supreme Court. Uh, You know, contrary to the common, well, I suppose the common belief that um, members of parliament can change laws by themselves, the sad reality is that our legislative system works is driven by the executive. The bills that come to parliament are brought in by the relevant ministers that that bring them to parliament. Generally, uh, our legal system works by the relevant minister. In this case, the minister of labor and social services bringing to uh, parliament a bill to, you know, to to stem this hemorrhage of jobs. But again, you know, I'm sorry to say that personally, I don't expect much in that direction because, you see, the government very clearly said that this Zanupiev government, when it won the, when it said it won the election, they started immediately talking about the need for labor market flexibility. Clearly, this is what they are doing. Ungu ma members of parliament vano gona kuunza anzi ma private members bill private kuti nini saje si majoni ndo nyoro uchi nyoro draft amendment ndinga zite angwa zake kajinji ma private members bill ane mkana mdiki diki na kuti kajinji ano face zako nzi ano gona kuzi manu nzi ma money bill shere watu ma bill ayo ane tatu urimende i shani shemari baaka na papi papi ni papi asi zinuba kutanga wawa na mpumo ya vice president kana ima minister sa kajinji jinji imite mene sungo ya chitakudi
Welcome if you're just joining us today on the Women's Roundtable. We are looking at the continued job losses in the country. We're looking at their impact on women in particular, but also generally on families. What are your views on the issue? Most companies in the country have been taking advantage of the recent Supreme Court ruling giving employers the right to terminate employers' contracts by giving them at least a three-month notice leading to the massive job losses. Over 20,000 workers have so far been fired following the Supreme Court ruling uh, that has given uh, the employers, as what Star just said, the permission to fire workers on three months' notice. And we noticed that some critics are blaming the government for the continued job losses, citing its failure to create employment through the 2.2 million jobs promised under the ZANU-PF Zima set. And Star, also, you know, we've, I spoke to some women rights organizations like uh, Musasa Project, and they were saying that they've actually noticed a rise in the number of domestic abuse cases that, they, that have been reported by women, but they're not exactly sure whether this is related to the job losses. But uh, today we'll be discussing and seeing, you know, yes, what our yes, listeners' yes. views are regarding this. Lamutlake Balaleli si kota ngotaba oluse kutwini ologu kochwa wwaba wese sebenzi matlayana ngaba kachiba vo sinanzelela njalo uguti loku gulandela isingomo som tetwandaba owe supreme court o wati aba kachibale lungele logu wenza loku wata sinanzela utaman kampana manengi sele ekichimela pambi luguti apongu kochanje izi sebenzi matlayana ngoba lao e e e twelenzima ngaphansi komnotho lo onzima kangaka yikho ke sabe sikukhangela la mhla sikhangela njalo lokuthi kuthinta njani abe sifazana ireda ma star nasi thiri kutarisa mu chirongwa chedu chemadzimai e matambudzi kwa ari kutarisana nevanhu munyika takanyanya utarira madzimai nemuri zvichitevera izvo e star mutongo wakaturwa ne supreme court ruling e mavhika hapfura unoti iwo vashandirwi vanogona kudzinga e vashandi vavo mabasa vachinge vava paivo notice ye 3 months kana vasisa kwanise iwo kuti varamba vachiende ramberi nemabasa asi vamwe vanoshoro vanoti ah zviri kuitwa izvi hazvisi pamutemo kunyangwe zvacho pane mutemo iwo wakaturwa uye zvi pari zvino hurumende iri kuedza kuzeya kuti vaone kuti zvingafambiswe sei tanzwa zve kuti e, nengozi paramende dzingangosangana mangwana kuti vazeye kuti zvofambiswa sei asiti kazonzwa muzvare Jesse Majome vachiti a avaone chino buda pamusangano iwo iyo nekuti vazhinji havasi kunyatsozoti chi chiri kuitika panya iyo yi ye liqoniso lelo ngoba sizwa njalo kuti kulandela izinqumo lesi um umti idalele parliament kusasa likhangelelo ukuthi lizame ukuguqula umthetho lo ukuthi izisebenzi zingaphonga uqotshwa nje mahlayana ukuthi ayikugazetha ngesingisi sesizabona ukuthi kuzahamba njani kumbe kuzaphomelela ukuthi kuyasolisa ngoba abanye amalunga edalele parliament athi wona awuzwanga lokho kodwa engabizwa azimisele mavela sokuthi asukumele phezulu ahambe ngoba lawo efuna ukuthi izisebenzi amalungelo azo ananzwe zingaphonga uqotshwa nje mahlayana ah tinotenda I know that. <laughs> sure, it's not your forte, but to not end. Star, we are lucky today we are joined in studio by our guest, uh, Miss Simbi Munjoma. She's an engineer based here in Maryland, in Washington, and she's going to be on our program just giving us the diaspora view, how some of these job losses are affecting those that are in the diaspora that are looking for family back home. Welcome to the Women's Roundtable, Simbi. Thank you, Star and Marvelous. I'm glad Welcome. to be here. Uh, Simpi, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do here? As you said, Marvelous, I'm a design engineer at a consulting firm in Gaithersburg, Maryland. I work as a structural engineer and we design, we do cu design calculations and we produce the drawings that go with the designs. Ah, this is Simpi. I want Magaja Gama Book, Mombots and Angura Vatere, Redundemuri, Rimirwa, my talk chinga meets a pan of Pachurum, Gokti Munete, Imomono, Maryland. Majita, Tino and Drugushana Shanda say engineer, Tino Gatiruku, Tirubatirava, Waki, and Waka, Zimbane, Neshikoro, Kunoku, Maryland, Tino Gatirukuita. 
my calculations ni my book it's no matter at it kuchikoro tichia tichia batira in that way I want to note in that a governor me much wrong what she do it certainly ramberi as a system be me to join us with kakumusha is muruku ona ere vanu vanu vakumusha vachi kumbira rubati ruka na nizume shaka daro takatari sana ne shurukwiti ke shugu shayi kwa kwe mabasa hmm jinoti jinoti bata moyo chayeyo chayeyo um a problem me negoti not through kuda ubatsira taka gara tichingo da ubatsira ana vabereke ne muridze do dzirikumba but um can i show now ti basa mabasa kana kumba pana even one wanongwa ne mabasa wanongwa ne mabasa ma akanatsa kumira mushe vakumashaya zvinova zvati wadza moyo because no unga uchinzwa a, a, a greater burden mm-hmm. and, as you would say kutiti tirambe tichwabatsira and you know what this is good diaspora hapana munhu muhamane shangwe dza ngudzi no dziri kunoko kumba kwedu kumba kwedu takangara tichitarisira kuti tichada kudzokera um saka kuchona kuti mabasa akushaika even kana une basa rakanaka zvinova mm-hmm. zvati wadza muso i want to note in the uh, star yes Simbi what is she saying is saying mm-hmm. that um she being here in the diaspora mm-hmm. she you know she has seen that the number of requests that are coming from home or for people needing help has escalated even those that actually have well paying jobs because of these job losses so she's just saying it's sad because being in the diaspora you know that you want to go back home one day so it's sad when you see what is going on. Yes, and today we were talking to some of the of the people living in South Africa, some mm. Zimbabweans living in South Africa. They are saying that uh, they have to to take more money home now. Mm-hmm. They have to take care of their families there because the demand is now higher for for help. Yes. Is this what you are also encountering here? Are the people having to to increase the amount mm-hmm. of uh, say money or clothes for food and stuff because of what uh, people are facing back home? Yes, I would say so. I think we uh, the pressure to send more um, goods home, more money home, is is has increased. Um, at any time the the economic pinch is felt at home, we feel it as well here in the diaspora. Mm. Yes, uh, thank you very much. And uh, we have uh, with us here the member of parliament for Bulawa Your South. Um, Dokas uh, Sibanda on the line. Welcome to the show, Dokas. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Honorable, we understand, um, as you are aware of what we're talking about today, that uh, these um, job losses, what is, your, what is your view on what's going on? And has uh, Parliament talked about this before we get to the gazetting of the, of the, of the, of the amendment of the Labor Act? Um, we have uh, engaged with the ministers here and there, mm-hmm. but um, the bottom line is we are waiting for the amendment. Um, it's, it's actually said, it's a said uh, 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 um, uh, uh, situation. You know, when we say uh, um, the government in place promises people millions and millions of jobs, uh, before uh, two years down the line, then millions and millions are losing their jobs. It's quite a, 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 a sad situation, which is unacceptable anyway. Anyway, in, in the world, it's really unacceptable. So as legislators, we are waiting for the act which has taken so long, which, which obvious we need to, when we work on it, we need to be uh, 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 in mind that it's not a favor. Or, or the government won't be doing a favor to create jobs. We, we need jobs. People need jobs in any in, in any situation. People need to be at work. We need our food on the table. You know, we need our shelter. We need water. We need to live. We need to move on. We need to be free in our country and really feel that we are Zimbabweans. We are in our country, and it's, it's, it's the government's job to make sure that they safeguard that. Yes, uh, interesting um, observation there from the Honourable MP. Marvellous. 
Ah, uh, was going to ask you, Honorable Gutimungo Tanangura, Nemur Rimirwa, my Shamamur Gutanangura, and we Vacati Ravansguo, a image of Mugita Sevadari. Honorable <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, uh, Mr. Moyo is very emotional. Mm. He's saying that um, women are really facing hardships and he's calling even on the men to be not, not to be too harsh on the women mm -hmm. if they have no jobs. They shouldn't take it on the women mm -hmm. and be angry and do all that. As we said before, that um, some of these uh, incidents have led to, to cases of violence yes, in the home right. mm -hmm. because the family structure now, the expectations that the men should bring, you know, Mm -hmm. the bread home She's is the breadwinner it, yeah. mm -hmm. it's not happening as it was supposed to or is it is supposed to so mm. this is what he's talking about and he's appealing to the government that something should be done after all they promised millions of jobs mm -hmm. during elections what is going on now that is what uh, mr moyo is saying thank you Bester. south africa South Africa And South Africa Free State. South Africa Zimbabwe. Uh, kukanganisa zvinhu zviri kutokanganisika hazvisi kungwa afekta vanhu veku vari kumusha ikoko chete mm -hmm. zviri kuti afekta nesu tiri kuno because tine ma families ari ikoko saka tinenge taka kutofose wakana tamba inge timbo papa ni inge levo taka kutofose wakuto tichito pula masokse bicha yu kutu omwe isimbe because zviri kwa afekta especially madimai ndo watiri kunya nyoche mera zvakanya because the cinema case is a card, my single mothers. No more cards, I think, in the armor breadwinners, Makasime Mori, Mazano. Saka is also Zunus Rukuto, the Serajan Jacawanda Kumasura, because Teruakada to Azame, my business. Munoesa Kumusha Arkutengesa. Usaka wangu tenge sera shaya tena ge pasi na wangu kada wangu tenge sera wangu kuku tenge sera. Ete mari ezui na msekilisi na amuna msekilisi mari. Saka wangu tenge sera wano kuita shukere ti mari ajo apana chino badero chino buda. Saka at the end of the day tuko na kuno kuta na wacha flo kacha hizo. Kuna kuno basi zote zama basa because obviously kana muno wangu chishamba basa rakana ka uchuo rose zina. Mara, Patitina Sosa of Income, Marcus of Fosso, Tango, Avatar, any dirty job, Yukuno, as Rumba, it was in the good fight with the Anima degrees, Raya, Anima diploma, Anima certificates, Varunga, Yakuno, Vanagotora, any job because Apana, Varkuza, Magutrai, Chikafu, Nakuba, the Ravana, the Kuchengata, and Mumurizao. I want to not say that Sinozi, but Doctor Rova, and Terry, this is Lucia, Varku South Africa, Shakari. Magadi is so Lucia. No, Magadi, one, no tender, the Kila Mutuanga. Tipe open what's in you? Mafunga, the morning, Papa, what's the Sulu South Africa? Say Murkudaro. 
I want to know maybe star uh, before we go back to our guest on the line we can take some whatsapp messages that were sent by some of our listeners they must be sitting by the radio uh, waiting to hear their messages we'll yeah, yeah, hear from sure. them now okay We had there from some of our listeners in different parts of the company uh, of the country who sent us some sent WhatsApp messages, some were writing on Facebook. So today's program really star. We had a lot of women who were on standby, you know, to share their views. But because our time is running out, we're going to go back to our in-house guest, Sisi uh, Simbi. Thank you, marvelous. Shatara newa nu wafona in ne mama tap messages chokwadi. Apo sisi simbi moto mbomira makadaro to our guest, our in-house guest is Miss Simbi here, and also Honorable Doka Sibanda on the line. Please stay on the line as we migrate for our radio listeners. As you know by now, we're streaming live. Please go to www.voazimbabwe.com and stay tuned. Our marvelous Mplanganya Huye. Yeah, we love Abasi Lalele Msagazoeni. So we'll pella la pausello le to go to a singa sang and jalong of a scobegela pambi, lisisebuli and jini. The kangelego www.voizimbabwe.com that was cobega conawelo. Nina was sitting the glim tang.
welcome again if you're just joining us today on the women's round table we are looking at the continued job losses in the country we're looking at their impact on families especially women what are your views on the issue Bulabo abasanda ukusithuma siqoxa ngokucotshwa nje mahlayana kwezisebenzi ngabaqhatshi ikakhulu kulandela isinqomo somthetho andaba we Supreme Court esithi bangakwenza lokho sikhangela ukuthi wena uthini ngalokho njalo ukukhathaza njani abesifazana Aiwa stars ikutora kwa tambo isa tirukura mbali kuende ramberi tichita isu uhuru kuro. E, tirukutari sa shunguitika mwenyika umuwa wajinji varukura sikiru wa nema basa. Tirukutari sa kuti shunga itukwe sei kuti madzimai awani kwe achibatirika. Uyeje pariji notina onarebo doka sibanda variparu nare. E, tambo wa misa kungu warefu asi tia zukera kwa vari tichiti uh, onarebo sibanda as we we're talking earlier on uh, tomorrow there is likely to be a discussion in parliament what are you taking or, uh, you know what are you going to take for your constituency as the major concern that you're hearing people giving you on the ground um considering that um in any situation which is awkward like this one or in a war situation uh, or when the econ- there's a meltdown in economy um, um, women suffer. Women mm. suffer. Women will always suffer. So um, those are the things which we will bear in mind. Those are the things which we will point out. But the bottom line is, um, we, we, most of us, we come from labor movements mm. where we know very well that if someone is uh, given a package, that package means uh, the person gets the benefit mm. what he has went before. Calculated in the years he has served in, 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 in that company. You don't just say I've given you notice and you are going empty handed. Mm. That, that one is completely out. It, 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 it has never been like that. Mm-hmm. So we would, rather, we would rather concentrate on making a law which will make the, 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 the employer comfortable and the employee comfortable at the end of the day. And as legislators and is uh, 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 part of the top decision making uh, mm. board of the country. We should bear in mind that at the end of the day, we we want to run away from poverty mm-hmm. because poverty will bring a lot of uh, uh, ups and downs in the country. There will be the the the, 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 the loss of jobs in the country at the end of the day will cause divorces. Mm. Uh, children will be won't afford to go to school. You know, things like that, there's a, there's a lot of um, ups and downs in families because of job loss. So there is a need for, for the government to, to revisit, mm-hmm. to revisit such laws and make sure that they safeguard the employee as well. Thank you very much, Honorable Star. Yeah, um, singa tala njalo onarepo swanda wuti ukulume ngolimlo sindebele kuna koko ukulume leo ukotwa ilanjalo logo zoe kukulunyo angabala leli indi nge gozavo logo batu payo ukutuwe nungaba jela uti Yeah, nyabo Bengi siti bina mbe nisha umbe gule npi umbe hati nyeski umkono ni ukutuna gala wema leli zini ngoba <laughs>
Yes, uh, my first question to you is um, what impact are these rampant job losses um, having on the rural community? If you look at your at your constituency there, Matebelen South, what exactly is happening there? The line is very bad, sir. Yes, uh, can you hear us, Senator? Senator, I think you may have to move around a little bit so that we can. Okay. Yes, now we can yes, hear. Yes, now we can hear. Star. Mm. Oh, oh, now we can hear. Yes. 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 We were talking about. Uh, I, I was to, I was okay, go ahead. You, uh, you know that material South does not have the uh, many factories or many industries or many issues that uh, employ a lot of people. And uh, we only uh, depend on the, 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 the organizations that are in town, that are employing people. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we, we are so concerned about this uh, job cut. Yes, and uh, what about the families now? Do they rely on those people who are working in towns and um, who, have been, who have also been retrenched? Or, and how are they surviving? <laughs> We are on Region 5, you know Region 5, the electric uh, uh, rain pattern that we have here. So it means that we, we, we are seeing people going to starve to death mm -hmm. because it's those who that are working, that are supplying the, the, the real people mm -hmm. with food because the people are working for food now. Uh, and if those few are losing their jobs, then it means that the, the, the whole region now is going to suffer more. And uh, our hunger is going to be even worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Vesta. Sisi Simbi, Mamuru Kunzuwa Shuguta Urwa, na Honorable Ab. Varukufuna Ivo, 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 now there's a cascade good you go rely on one work diaspora or they having to find another way you could supply my needs one work rural areas mm -hmm. so um I think with the the Chaga way we go spend it, um, we I think it, it, the the country as a whole will be and all the citizens will be affected, will be 
um, benefited. I think. Thank mm -hmm. you, uh, Simbi, there for really, you know, taking us through the side of the diaspora. Um, and also maybe just to round off before we let you go, tell us a little bit, how can you inspire some young girls out there who are listening who would like to also take up engineering, something that you are practicing here? Because most people shy away from that. I would encourage young women to not be intimidated by um, either being a woman or m maybe um, different circumstances by it may be thinking that you know if I get to a position if I get the job will they if I get to a point where I can get a job will there be an, a job for me I think it, it comes down to your determination mm -hmm. and if you have an aptitude and a passion for math and science Thank you very much, Simbi. You can uh, stay with us. Um, yes. Yeah. Sir Bonga Lapo, Uncosazana, Simbi Rai Mujoma, you know, Okonapa, Emily Gotiena, Osevenza Konapa, Otiena, I, we are Kutaza, Abania Vesfazana, Woody Labo, Venga B. Benga Boning and Yunzi, Mawuti Labo, Babbing Omanjinella, whom the Emmy M. Sevens, Epezu, Emma Zoni, Bezami, Guaza, Figala Papa Funuba Con, Siabo. Eh, Tanga teachings wapo kuvakuna mujare simbi e munjoma. Vanushanda imo muno mo America. Vachita basa hero re engineering. Varu kukuru zira hero kuti ai wama zima iku nyangwe zunzaka oma. Kana mune vanaskana vachiri kuenda kuchikoro. Ramba imi kuti zira kuti vawani kwe ivo vachita zizizo shakada ise mates ne jimwe wakuitra kuti vakwani so kuenda kumabasa iwa ya kada ise engineering. Nukuti varu kuti ivo kajinji kacho e, vana vechiskana kana mazima iwa no wani kwa vasi, vasi nga tore mangu mabasa iwa ya vachita aiwa aka Oma. Uh, so I think we have our other guest who has been holding uh, Honorable Sbanda. If you'd like to go back to her. Yes, uh, Honorable Sbanda can uh, wait now whilst we take another caller. Uh -huh. um, yes, I think we just have another caller right now. Uh, my my Macheka. My Macheka, Makadi, Tinokchinga Mizai. Makadi, Tipe hivyo fungwa zenyi muri kubi mai machega. Diri mu arare kugleni vi. Tisa na nguruwe wakuti juru kufamba sisi kwa muri yuko kuhu. Mai rana ne kumiswa mabasa kurukuita kwa vanu juu yego kanga ni sasa sisi muri ne 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 mara ramiro amur kuita zwani zuo. Juu kanga ni sauta no chai one fungwa. Devan, Yes, uh, we have another guest uh, here with us, Miss um, Abeba Sirak. She is from Ethiopia and she lives in, in Kenya. She's a business woman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and uh, just a, a brief uh, background as to how these job losses are coming about in Zimbabwe. We noticed that um, just last month, the Supreme Court in Zimbabwe ruled um, actually agreed with the with the labor court ruling mm. that a, a company can fire its its, its workers the workers which had taken the company to court and the supreme court said uh, those workers can be fired as long as they were given notice because they were saying it was illegal the way they were fired so the other companies interpreted this to mean that they can follow suit and mm. indeed they have many companies have fired workers and uh, to date, uh, more than 20,000 workers have mm. been fired because they are using that um, uh, precedence which, the, which was set by the Supreme Court. Mm. So now they are, they are, they are, they are, they are attempts to try and amend uh, the Labor Act mm -hmm. so that these uh, job losses can stop. So um, I think P uh, Star, Ms. Sirak, can give us the international perspective because you lived in Zimbabwe. Tell us a little bit about that and also just, you know, a few pointers on what women can do faced with such a situation. Because now you're in Kenya and a lot of the Kenyan women have gone through some of what the Zimbabwean women are, are going through. But they found a way to go around it and to make things work. 
Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I lived in Zimbabwe uh, from 2003 up to 2006, like three and a half years. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed my staying in, in Zimbabwe. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful That's country. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, full of resources and and uh, the women are very skilled and mm. uh, uh, they can do many things. I, I went to Zimbabwe because of my husband's work. Mm -hmm. My husband works for an international organization called WWF. Mm -hmm. He he deals with conservation and wild animals, mm -hmm. and uh, he enjoyed it too. He mm. he loved he loved Zimbabwe, and uh, Zimbabweans are very skilled people. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't get intimidated by this, you know, uh, things. Yeah, Jobless. things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. So uh, how can they turn this negative situation into a positive to be able to now better look after their families? You, For you are talking about, you know, Zimbabwean women are skilled and also we've seen in Kenya where you are living right now, most of the business that's coming out of Kenya actually originates from women. They are making a lot of arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. How can Zimbabwean women also tap into that market? Yes, Zimbabwean women, they can do, they can do many things. Mm -hmm. They can, you know, you, you don't need a big capital to start a business. They can do, they can use, you know, the available resources from their houses. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I mean, they, they, can, they can make things, they can, they can paint, you know, those, uh, you know, this uh, beautiful handcrafts from Zimbabwe, like mm -hmm. the batik. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. We used to buy from there and, and they give it out to people as a present, as a gift. Mm. So people love them. They always remind us, you know that, that, that tablecloth you gave us mm. last this time? So they have, they have nice things. They are skilled people. Mm -hmm. So they can use, they can use their talent to, to, to change the situation. Mm -hmm. So these things happened. And uh, they took, uh, I mean, they, they can take advantage of the situation. I mean, mm. I mean, uh, they can, they can, they can do many things. Mm -hmm. I mean, to support their family, to support their children, to, I mean, to support the country as well. Yes. So, so which um, sector can you say is thriving most in, in Kenya, which uh, Zimbabwean women can learn from? Is it the formal sector or the informal sector? I mean, are people employed or most people employed or they are also experiencing the same job losses or they are most of them are just doing this uh, in the informal business what i can say about the the, the kenyan women is uh, you know they, they they take advantage of you know the bad situation mm. you know they they take it like you know this happened mm. so we, life um, moves on mm. so there's a saying, you know, when, when God closes this door, he, he opens, opens another the, one. Another one. Mm -hmm. So they take like, you know, they make mandazis. They, don't, they, they make those pastries, you know, mm -hmm. homemade pastries, and they take it to the shops. Mm -hmm. And uh, they make, you know, gideri, like, uh, like beans and, mm -hmm. uh, beans and, uh, and, and maize. Mm -hmm. They boil, and they take it to the construction site. Mm -hmm. And then they sell it to those, to those guys, mm -hmm. you know? And they get money. Mm. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't need a big capital. You start from scratch. You yes, start from that's small. Very yes, very interesting. Yeah. But actually, in Zimbabwe now, most uh, women try to get into the vending business, mm. yeah. but again, they are chased away from the streets. Yeah. Why? Because uh, they don't have the right uh, permits, the right mm. licenses. They are supposed to be in certain areas where they cannot. So even the informal sector has that mm. uh, problem that they just can't operate freely. And there's a lot of them mm. in the streets now, not just a few mm -hmm. who are focused on what they want to do. Some people are forced into that uh, vending business because they don't have an alternative mm -hmm. and they believe they could be doing something better. Mm -hmm. So maybe that could be what's... Um, making them not uh, progress that much. Mm. So, uh, but Star, maybe while on that, you uh -huh. can share th about the big market that's there in Kenya, <laughs> where we, you know, people are selling their wares. I know I went there as a tourist, mm -hmm. and I saw the vibrant... Do they need licenses to be selling on the streets in Kenya? What's the situation like over there? No, in Kenya, they don't. They don't. They don't, uh, they don't need, I mean, licenses. You know, people can come and sell whatever they have made at home. They can mm -hmm. come and sell those small, small things. Okay, marvelous. Maybe they are not overwhelming the streets like the vendors are doing <laughs> yes. in Harare, blocking yeah. every pavement. Yes. Maybe the situations are different because maybe the economy to begin with 
is probably not as bad. Uh, yes, I maybe, think so too, maybe, because maybe. like I was saying, there mm. is a huge market that they've mm. been given. I, I'm not sure what it's called. It's the Maasai market. Yes. I love the Maasai oh, market. The Maasai. People yeah. love the Maasai market. Very so artistic. maybe mm. Zimbabwe can, you know, take, you know, a page from that mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe set up a huge market mm -hmm. like that. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can give us an insight into that. Yes, Abby, we can. You know, women, they can come together, mm -hmm. make an association, and then uh, and then go to the government offices and ask for this, this you, know, you know, some plots some, mm -hmm. somewhere, and then they can make like, a, 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 like a weekly mm -hmm. market, big market, like a Maasai market, so that so that everybody can can do something small and bring it to the market and sell it. Mm -hmm. At least they can get something out of it. Mm -hmm. And then you know, even they get even orders, big orders from there. It starts from there. Ah, so star, I think mm -hmm. we might be forgetting our guests oh, on yeah. the line. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can yeah. tend to for them to comment on what our Kenyan sisters um, here, here in-house, uh, Abiba Siraki is saying, as legislators, you can tell us, I, I'm not sure who's on the line now. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, we are going to tell you a little bit about it. Abiba Siraki or Ethiopia, we are going to tell you a little bit about it. We are going to tell you a little bit about it. Utini ni ngaloko, mwati wenabe Zimbabwe akukunengi, ina bako nza imsebenzi yeza andla lezi, ema flea market ili mkwa koi. Ungati ni ngamazo aki. O mama, ya Zimbabwe lapa, ni akangela kusikusila ngu 2008, into zipeta kwa nape Zimbabwe kungela, Mutla mwenye la lito o mama baaku ni sela baze leko ve iba baba mbeleze kitu mawezea pazwa kwa mazi kwa mpache kwa mazi be letu kutia elise be zama ngayo yonke inche la uguti ba 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 kwa nisi kutu ba nige imuli kwa uguti ya uguti kube la loku la loku elise ni sabu kwa na kwa 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 Kota, ukulumende le gawe kumedu kuti avoni, ama zame pili. Kumedu kumedu kuti avani, wale ministri ya avo, vile evona, nga kona loko, wale kumedu ministri na lemu wangu, ikike lelize, nikunya na pana, ministri ya na, ipie, imani wanzi, nikito mama, menja, numa masi ya wazi, numa mawe zimbapu, numa mama wase wenza, katara la, numa mama wase wenza, nzima, ende tandu, ugu vonga konoko, nikanye denja, alo, ugu ti, Ie lavanda na abanga mangaza nunda na tisa di kwenye chaguzi. E nchini wote ni bache inchi ombega kuna ba unga kanya na nasa zikolo lapa baya seven za katika lava kwa tuna wovi la bosi sana watu be shudu wakuto mwa sisi baba na mwa university sisi baba na zikolo baya za bushi kwa e e e ukulume ndi nazo ukulume kanga kuna kanya ukulume ndi mtu ukulume ndi lai umele ati Loko siku vumele meyo kube mwuse nzarala. Ukudu mende ka lungi se interes, wantu wepe ni interes. Ukudu mende ka kanyi luguti ezi nji ni lapa avanyo mama abafelo gazi. Avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko, avanyo ngokoko. Una matati yetu families. Esu wakanyi naka kuru subo nukuti ni ahetu wanga agumbe akanyi leka kuru wanga mantana wanga mankazana. Kono kia na ngungla ndi wakulu mendi wita meke shua. Thru ama ministries. Le ministry evo na wakono. Thru ama ministries wake meke shua kutu ya uya 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 kanyela. Yeah, on a report, Vanda, the um, uh, Abiba is saying that even the Zimbabwean women are very enterprising. Mm. They've um, some some projects which uh, mm. they engage in. She's even saying the girl child is uh, focused in schools and they are doing well in universities. Mm. Some of them, and so she's saying. Um, it lies with the government that uh, new policies mm -hmm. that will create jobs uh, should be made. Um, that's uh, generally what uh, she is saying. And uh, we can now go back to uh, Senator Stembile Mlocho. Senator Mlocho. Yes. yes, you heard what our guest uh, Sirak said. Mm -hmm. What can you say about uh, what she is saying? Do you think uh, Zimbabwe... Zimbabwean women are also enterprising, and uh, if you can also add a perspective of what they are doing in the rural areas. Mm. Yes, uh, women in Zimbabwe are so industrious. 
uh, you, you can uh, witness in the rural areas that uh, most of the food that we eat comes from uh, uh, women. Mm. So um, I, I'm, I'm very sure that if we could have a government that is not corrupt, mm -hmm. a government that makes policies that will uh, 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 help people to look after themselves, uh, a government that will uh, have ministers that are not involved in, 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 in this case of uh, the job cut, mm. the ministers are part of the employers, and they let people in the court and they control the court to, uh, 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 to do whatever it suits them. Mm. Then, uh, uh, if you could have a, a straightforward government that takes care of its own citizens, then mm. uh, I don't think we could uh, 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 be suffering like this in Zimbabwe. Um, Honorable, if because I may just are... um, come in there and ask, but can Zimbabwean women learn anything from the Kenyan women from what um, Ms. Abiba Sirak was saying here, that women in Kenya formed uh, like groups and then went to government and said, this is what we have and we would like to start doing this and that. Can they learn from that? We have so many, yes, we have so many medical groups here in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. We have so many organizations here in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. We have so many groups that are doing so much. If you can imagine that during uh, 2007, 2008, when uh, 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 there was some hunger in here in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. because women were going outside the country as groups, mm -hmm. as, 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 as they're being food in those groups. Otherwise, we, we, we have to, we have to, the, the children are going to perish if mm -hmm. women did not the whole nation of the mother. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 yes, we, we, we can learn from Kenya, but we are already doing it. We are already doing more. We are doing more because all the informal traders, mm -hmm. are, are most of the informal traders are women. Mm -hmm. And if women could be not stand up in the mother and do what they were doing, I, I don't think this country would be here in this situation now. Thank you very much, Honorable. Um, we'll go back to Abiba as time is really running out, maybe to just sum up what, moving forward, what you would advise some of the women in Zimbabwe to do, judging from your experience as a businesswoman. Uh, yes, what I would advise my, my, my sisters in, in, in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. uh, don't get dis discouraged, uh, don't get intimidated, mm -hmm. Just uh, take this challenge as an opportunity, and uh, and uh, move forward. Uh, do something different. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so you're good. You're skilled. You're intelligent. You can do many things. Mm -hmm. uh, start from ho ho from home, doing something small, and then uh, and uh, and and move forward. Thank you very, yes. very much for yes. those inspiring yes. words. Uh, but for now, we're going back to our listeners to just hear mm -hmm. some of the WhatsApp messages they sent us earlier on. Ah, Star, we seem to be, uh, I think the WhatsApp is not uh, liking us very much today, but uh, we had an overwhelming response, especially mm -hmm. the women. We're very proud of you for having really contributed today. We had, uh, I can't even begin to say how many messages, even on Facebook, Star. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, it's a pity we're not able to play all your messages, but, you know, don't lose heart. Keep supporting the women's mm -hmm. round table and also mm -hmm. keep sending the messages. That's the only way that we can get the information out there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Langwa sing ene li sang aguti si lale imbi wo ebeli le tile lebeli abanya bebe kolomi le sa amazo ababesa kolomi lugu tiba tini ngalolo da abanya lo abanya bebe silo bele koto aili ngati no libe loke li spale la li sicho imbo no yenu kuchelo lo etulelo olo women's round table. Mm -hmm. We are really getting to the end of our program. So mm -hmm. we'll ask our honorables, both of them, to just give us in brief as we move forward, what word of you know encouragement to you, do you give to the women and families facing these job losses in brief, like 30 seconds each? Yes, Dokas uh, Sibanda, honorable. Thank you very much. Um, I will uh, encourage women to move on. I know Zimbabwe women have worked hard before. I know they are hard workers. They should move on. And what I want to, 
to share with them is that in our constitution it clearly states that there is some empowerment mm-hmm. from the government which is supposed to be given to the people. People should be empowered. So it's um, um, Honorable, sorry to have to cut you off there. Time is not on our side, but we would like to thank our in-house guest uh, this evening, Simbi. Mujoma, who's a dis- uh, an engineer here in the United States, and also Abiba Sirak, who is a businesswoman. She has visited Zimbabwe before, but she's now based in Kenya for having been our guest on the Women's the Forum. I'm marvelous Mplanga Nyahuye. Thank you. Thank you.